So uh, could you please introduce yourself and what company you're with? Sure. My name's Jeff Hanna. I'm a senior technical artist. I work for Volition Incorporated. Okay. Uh, when did you first realize that you were morphing into a technical artist from your original role, and what was that role? Uh, my original role was a 3D modeler. This I started in the industry in 1995. It was around the year 2000 that I realized that I was becoming a technical artist. Uh, I was working for a startup, and we only had the budget for three artists, and so I had to find a force multiplier. And so I learned MaxScript and started building tools to free the artist up from doing the tedious stuff. Okay. Uh, can you provide an example from a project you worked on that required your specific skills as a technical artist to solve? Sure. I uh, came onto a project that was for a company to an established MMO uh, after the game had actually shipped and been through numerous um, expansion packs. And I discovered that the way that they were making the armor for the two dozen races in the game was that they would model the armor to human proportions, and then the artist would take a month to hand mold that same armor set to fit all the other races in the game. I used a set of freeform deformation cages and Max and some Max scripting and took what was a month-long process and narrowed it down to be 30 seconds. That's awesome. Uh did you come to the TA role from the art of uh, art or programming side of development? I came from the art side. I was a 3D modeler when I came right. into the industry. Okay. Uh, so, how much and what kind of self-directed learning did becoming an effective TA involve? Mostly actually learning how to write programming uh, using the scripting language in 3ds Max. I'd had some programming languages uh, and an instruction in college, but that was really almost a decade before I'd started working in the industry and I'd forgotten all of it. So, the logic behind how to craft a tool that did what I wanted was the part that I really struggled with and had to teach myself. Okay. Uh, so what types of mathematics do you regularly use in your job? Like not courses so much, but specific mathematical concepts. Honestly, most days, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division is about what it needs to go into. Um, when I'm dealing with 3D objects and, and working with objects in 3D space, then matrix math and vector math absolutely come into the equation. Um, has there been anything more esoteric than the matrix math that you've had to teach yourself? Or I mean, that's, um, that's shaders and crafting. Um, you know, shaders that actually will change the display of the game, delve into some aspects of math with tangent space and normal space and other things that personally I'm not that comfortable with. But that's fine because there are technical artists of all ranges, and so I have people on my team that shore up my inefficiencies. Okay. Um, so, like. What low-level technical concepts did you have to really start to, to rock to be able to become a, a good TA? The 3D? Right, uh, well, basically the pipeline. You know, you want the artist to not have to worry about how to get the asset into the game. They're artists. They want to be creative. They don't want to know about draw calls and crunching into a binary format and getting the data over onto the kit. So you have to learn how to let the artists work in the tool of choice to do the things that they were hired to do, which is make stunning visuals and then understand how to get that information out of Max and massage it and mold it and get it into the game engine so that it will work efficiently. Okay. Now, were there additional artistic principles that you had to also develop over the course of your career that uh, helped you become an effective TA? I did um, because I was a TA during the transition from the fixed function pipeline to video cards that actually started running shaders. And so suddenly the types of visuals that we could put on screen, Fresnel effects, anisotropic effects, reflection maps, normal maps, displacement maps, all of that stuff came on board very quickly and all the technical artists in the industry struggled and had to come to grips with that because it directly affected the types of tools that we could provide the artists, which directly affected the types of visuals that we're going to get into the game. Okay. So if, if there was like one thing you could tell academics about the role of a TA, what would that be? Like what do we need to know? Don't pigeonhole your students into either coming out of your program as artists or programmers. If you find the person that wants to do both, nurture that. It's a rare breed of person that does it and they should be allowed to excel in what they want to do as much as any other student you have. Anything else you want to tell me? Like, no, I think actually the questions you've asked today are going to cover all of it. And I'm really impressed what the IGA is doing for this, and I hope to see some positive results. Thank you very much. You're welcome.